Hello and welcome, my name is Daniel and in this short video I want to show you my Space Station Interior Basics Kit Bash Set for Unreal Engine. And if you open the project you will find this example level here and simply press the G key to hide all this crazy actor and decals icons to see the whole level. And as you can see, if we take a look at the outliner we don't use any post-process volume here or any camera. We just fly around in this level with the default um, Unreal Engine camera. And we also use the default settings um, in this case, default lumen uh, for GI and default lumen reflections. Wonderful. And of course, everything was made for cinematic purposes, but you can also use the kit bash set for game purposes if you pay attention to some things. And the first thing I have to mention is the whole level is built with dynamics light, so here's no light baking involved. So if I grab one light and move it around, you will see the light updates dynamically or immediately here inside Unreal Engine. And if you want to use this level uh, for game purposes, we recommend you to bake the lights. But if you want to use it for cinematic purposes, of course you want to adjust the lights and you can do that because our um, space lamp blueprint has some um, user settings included and you can simply adjust the light intensity maybe something to 400 you can adjust the light temperature here in this case and of course you can um, choose an other emissive material simply type in em for emissive and you will find all the emissive materials which are available for you and you can choose uh, different lights or different emissive material here for the light. Then you can adjust the band door angle and band door long length because it's a rectangular light which is built inside the blueprint. And then you can adjust if this light should cast shadows or if it shouldn't cast shadows. Wonderful! Then the next thing, um, if we take a closer look to the geometry, um, everything was uh, modeled with subdivision surface modeling and then imported with two subdivision steps inside Unreal Engine. So we have the high quality geometry here inside Unreal Engine for cinematic purposes, but you can also use it for games because everything is built with Nanite. So if we jump into the nanite visualization triangles uh, view you will see everything is built uh, with nanite except the cables and pipes here because they are deformable so you simply press the g key and then you will find some spline points and you can adjust the pipes by yourself it's a uh, pipe or cable blueprint and if you click at this blueprint and maybe leave the uh, nanite mode and jump into the lit mode and maybe we take a look at this cable here, we can also choose inside this blueprint uh, which cable geometry we, we want to use. So I can simply switch to pipe uh, 2 here in this case to change the look. Um, or to, to change the geometry and if we jump back into the uh, triangles view um, you can use this for cinematic purposes but if you want to use it for games we recommend you to bake the deformed pipe into a static mesh and enable nanite for them. I think for cinematic purposes it runs nice and smoothly um, it also runs on my 2060 RTX Super with 40 to 50 frames and here it runs 
on my um, 3090 with 60 to 90 frames. Of course, we used some heavy dynamic lighting here and it's uh, very complex. So we have to mention this if you want to use it for cinematics, be careful with the lights and the attenuation radius of the lights. You can simply adjust the attenuation radius here inside the lights blueprints. But in this case, the level is built to run smoothly for cinematics on a 3090. You shouldn't have any problems. Okay, uh, wonderful. Now we want to take a look at the blueprint actors because everything is built out of our custom made blueprint actors in this case. But if you want, if you don't want to use the blueprint actors, you can simply choose geometry from the content drawer here simply filter um, geometry or static meshes and then you will find all the static meshes here which are accessible um, inside the content drawer and simply put or simply drag and drop it inside the level and you're good to go but we highly recommend you to use our blueprints for this uh, level so let's uh, reset the filters and as you can see the different items or the different uh, geometry is uh, put into different categories so we have the cables fabrics items panels pipe connections pipes and small stuff and some special blueprints so first we want to take a look at um, and blueprint of the different category here. In this case, we simply choose the panels blueprint. We drag and drop it into our scene. Uh, maybe something like here because there is more light. And then if we take a closer look into the details panel, we can simply choose the geometry here with the select geo um, settings. And here are all the different uh, geometries located and you can simply choose them. And so you can build very quickly a nice level because you can simply copy it, then choose another uh, geometry for this one, maybe this one here and so on. And so you can build uh, crazy levels very fast, very quick with the blueprints. Let's take a look at the special blueprints here. Or first we, we take a look at the pipes blueprint. And if we press G, you will see we have this nice um, spline points here and we can simply deform the pipe here inside our level. We can simply grab the spline point with Alt key. We can extend it further and we can also choose our different geometries for this pipe. If you want to use it in game mode, we simply recommend you to bake the deformed pipe into a static mesh and enable a nanite. Let's take a look at the special blueprints here. We have the airline rail and the airline rail we are able to extend. Uh, simply put a number here and as you can see now we have a longer airline rail. Then we have the hand rail here and we are also able to scale the hand rail, put zero and it that's the minimum uh, scale, put something bigger than maybe 50 you will see or maybe one you see that's the maximum uh, scale of the hand rail. Wonderful. Then we have the laptop here and whoops. Here we are able to change the material. We have a material which is called screen off and a material which is called screen on. So we have this nice blue, uh, blue screen here and you can rotate the arm, rotate the laptop arm, of course. Also can rotate the laptop if you want to 
put it on the left side or on the right side, then you are able to disable the whole arm or to disable the whole laptop if you want to put something else here on the arm. Wonderful. And of course you can reset everything back to its default value. Then we have the space lamp here and inside the space lamp we can simply choose a different emissive material. Uh, the space lamp comes default with everything off so you have to put in a light intensity and of course you have to adjust the attenuation radius to see the light inside your level and you can adjust the light temperature of course maybe something like 4500 gets nice warm light you can adjust the barn door angle barn door length and of course you can choose if it casts shadows or not then we have the greenhouse blueprint here and inside the greenhouse uh, blueprint you can simply choose if you want to have the salad with the trays uh, visible for the right side and the left side so you can disable this and put something else inside this greenhouse then we have the light temperature simply change the light temperature the light intensity here and of course the light attenuation radius is set to a value so you can build all the greenhouses together side by side and you shouldn't get any uh, light complexity problems so if i disable all my lights for the level except the greenhouses here so lights and then we jump into the optimization view modes light complexity you will see it's not any problem but maybe you have to put in 60 maybe 60 is a nice number but in the in this case i think 65 is also possible and also nice to work with um, if you uh, use dynamic lights wonderful and now one last thing we also have some nice level instances prepared for you which you can use to build some uh, levels and of course you are free to adjust them and here we have some panels included which are also used in the scene here maybe we grab this panel with details 3 and put it in the level and you can see you have this nice panel here which is used here in this case and also some other panels maybe this one here wonderful then we have some decals here used inside the level let's take a quick look at them uh, if you press the G key, you can simply select the decal and then you can adjust the decal material. Simply type in decal and you will find all the decal materials which are available um, for the scene here. And you simply adjust your decal. Wonderful. I think that's it. That's the Space Station Interior Basics for Unreal Engine. If you have any further questions, simply write me an email or hit me up on Twitter and Instagram or CG Trader. Thanks for watching this short video. See you soon and goodbye.